Hello again my friends and fellow tarot lovers and appreciationists. No, that's not a word, is it? <laughs> you know what I mean. Those of us who love tarot. So, this is my third video today. Um, unboxing, although this is a pre-loved deck that I got on a sell buy sell Facebook group. Fortunately, I have wanted this deck for so long. This and actually the Lily Black Tarot by the same um, artist, which is Celia Melsville, based over in France, I believe. And we've got some French here, and then it's also translated for us right there um this is a deck i've wanted for a very 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 long time uh 2018 first edition this one it's signed it's number 668 of a thousand gosh i feel so lucky to have this in my hands i have waited so long to have one of these um unfortunately there's no shipping option to the UK for these decks. So if it is something you want, then you've got to, you're going to have to go on holiday. <laughs> they do have them in their Etsy shop, in their own shop. The Lily Black, the Lily White. And there's also a full-size book as well that goes alongside, that shows both versions of the cards. If anybody has that book and wants to sell it to me, please hit me up because I would love it. And the only other deck that I would die for now that's dramatic isn't it I wouldn't die for it but one that I would always always want is the bone stone and earth flesh tarot I've wanted that for so long but it's so prohibitively expensive it's way out of my league however I have heard from Avalon themselves uh, came up onto YouTube and said that um, there will be a mass market edition. There's a publishing house that has actually taken it on board. So I don't think it'll be exactly the same as that first edition. But nevertheless, Anturin's art is amazing. Anyway, I'm going off track here. So this is the Lily White Tarot and it's beautiful gold embossed, if that's the right word design on the box and the artwork look at that that's a taste of what's to come hey i've not opened it i've not gone through the deck yes um i thought i'd do that here so let's just open it and i've got a ribbon a pull out ribbon in white to go with the deck these are the backs oh man oh yeah, you can feel this is quality. This is absolute. Can you see that sparkle? Oh, look at that. This is absolute quality. There's no guidebook. There's a cheat sheet here in English. But then it's right away, I think, by the looks of those. Yeah. Yeah, it's the right away system. Oh, and on the back it's in French. Okay, so that's the leaflet and these are the cards and they're not, they're not in order. Mm-hmm. Okay, so what I'm going to, oh, they've been upside down some of them. What I'm going to do, I will just pause this video and I will sort them into order. Okay, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've sorted them into suits. Some of them was a bit, I had to sort of figure it out really because, well you'll see what I mean when I when I go through the cards, but this is the art style. As you can see it's like a watercolour, it does remind me rather of Anna Turian's art. But let's have a little look at them one by one. So we'll start with the full. I'm actually just going to do a walk through with some music for now. Um, they are, let's measure them first before we do that. So they look to be smaller than a Rider Waite Smith. Got the star card here. And I'm totally mistaken, they're exactly the same. No. No, they're a tiny, tiny bit smaller. Not much. 
fairly noticeable actually yeah that was quite um deceiving actually they looked smaller to me but there we go they're not so i stand corrected anyway walk through and i'll talk on the when i've gone through the cards about my first impressions
Well, they're a bit special, aren't they? <laughs> I think um, a couple of things that have struck me about the cards. One is the, the court cards and the way that it seems they're not actually fully formed yet. They are actually um, being formed from their elements. So, and the ones, they're coming from candles flame and they're manifesting from that. I think it's amazing. It's manifesting from the flames, look. It does that in all the suits, manifest from the elements. In the first three cards of the suits, it's like we start with one that branches into two, that then becomes three, and you can actually see how numerology works just by looking at this one becomes two then when we have a third we can actually make start to make a structure and then when we get to the four we've got a more stable structure and on and on and so i thought that that's really clever the way that's being done i also like the way that the suits are sort of color coded so we've got this watery uh, color here for the cups We've got this fiery red sort of energy here in the fire sign in the ones. And then we've got the blue, cold blue for the air element. See, look, I mean, that's just incredible. We've even got the signs for the elements on some of the cards as well. And this is, I've seen this before where the Ace of Pentacles is seen as the root and the seedling. And then look, it grows and actually becomes something. Yeah, and then we protect it and make it stable. And then it becomes a little bit unstable and then it's perfect and on and on and on. So yeah, I love the art style, the watercolour, the flowy art style of the watercolour. That's beautiful. And... There's something interesting I saw in the trees as well. Get to it. There you go. Um, the fool, when it gets to the lovers, becomes two trees, which I think is really nice. And of course, the fool is precariously almost off the side of the cliff, which is clever. Um, the chariot, that's cool, isn't it? You've just got the charioteer's glove there. Um, yeah, we've got Justice at 8 and we've got Strength at 11. I'm starting to lose the light now, but there's just a couple of other things that I wanted to point out that struck out to me. So, if I go through them by number, we start with the 1, which then splits off in each suit to become 2 of the 1. Yeah, so one wand splits into two, one cup becomes two, etc. I like that, I like the way that's been done. And then for the growth element in number three, again, you can see that has now become an actual structure here. I think these cards, art style is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to spend a lot of time I think with this deck it's going to it's a firm favorite already um, I knew it would be I was already know that 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 would be the case um, look at this how could you not <laughs> how could you not it's so gorgeous it reads like a Rider Waite Smith so, I am absolutely in love with this artwork. I'm in love with this deck. I knew I would be. Um, I've never seen a full walkthrough of it because I didn't want to spoil the surprise for myself. And I am certainly enamoured of it. And it's going to be, or actually already is, a firm favourite. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Anyway, the light's really going now, so I'm going to sign off. Thank you very, very much for watching my uh, indulgence. <laughs> and yeah, thanks for being here. Thanks for sharing my love of this wonderful medium. And until the next time, bye.